As if 2020 wasn't already considered one of the darkest years in recent history, it was also the hottest year on record. Actually, the 10 warmest years ever have all occurred since 2005. This trend is not likely to change anytime soon. More frequent heat extremes are already having real implications for people in the United States right now, and people who work outdoors are particularly at risk. Farm workers, construction workers, first responders, maintenance workers, all of these people need to be outside to do their jobs, increasingly in sweltering heat, even when the heat and humidity reach levels that can make it dangerous or even deadly to work outside without proper protections. Over time, working outdoors in the heat without adequate hydration, rest breaks, and shade can have major impacts on health like persistent dehydration, kidney problems, heat stroke, and even death. The vast majority of outdoor workers are employed in states that don't have mandatory protections in place when it comes to heat-related safety on the job. That means that workers sometimes are forced to choose between a paycheck and their health. For the nearly 32 million people who work outdoors in the U.S., the dollar amount of potential lost income adds up quickly. As the number of days with extreme heat increases because of climate change, we're looking at tens of billions annually over the next 30 years, in addition to the human toll. Black and Latino workers are disproportionately represented in outdoor work. They are 32% of U.S. population, but make up 43% of outdoor workers. These are groups that tend to have less financial security because centuries of systemic racism have put them at an economic disadvantage. The loss of income due to extreme heat already puts more economic burden on thinly stretched households. More days without work would only add to this. These extreme temperatures are exacerbated by climate change, so reducing carbon emissions would have significant health and monetary benefits for outdoor workers. Workers have long been advocating for their own safety and well-being. Stand in solidarity with them by demanding that the federal government and states adopt and enforce heat protections for outdoor workers so that they can come home safely at the end of their shifts.